Okay, we're looking today at the Battle of Leipzig, uh, 1813, between the uh, French Empire and the Allied coalition of Austria, Prussia, Russia and Sweden. Uh, I suppose you could include Great Britain in this as well, because uh, there is one, one British unit, a rocket unit on the board. Well, not on the board yet, but it will it will arrive at some point. Um, I'm going to use the latest versions of the rules. That's 7.35, which came from the latest game, Bonaparte, um, at, the, at the quadrilateral. Okay, say here, French have the advantage to start. You've got, um, they'll be going first. We've got one core here marked as inactive. It can't move unless uh, enemy units come within certain distance. Well, they have to come within line of sight of one of its units. Um, we've got some reinforcements with Napoleon arriving over there. The position of Leipzig is a uh, fantastic road communications and river communication system. Uh, it's a, a real focal point and a very important strategic position. Um, Napoleon actually believes the Murat units here have actually come in contact with the entire um, Allied army rather than a single piece of it. And Napoleon's effectively sticking his head in a noose here without knowing it because uh, th at least three of the four Allied armies are going to arrive here at some point in time. So effectively the French really need to beat each Allied army in turn before they can actually concentrate um, their full strength against him. It's, I won't go into what happened historically to be honest. Um, that's it so we're set to go and we're starting with 10 a.m. on the 14th of October and that starts with the this scenario here, Liebert Volkwitz, which is a bit of a mouthful for a, an English speaker. Uh, I've got a series of tutorials on this game. Um, uh, if, if I consider there are any rule sets that I haven't covered, I'll maybe add to those tutorials. <laughs> 